Hello guys, it's the Dinosaur 64 here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon. Please like my Dragon Tech Prime. My intro sounded a little bit weird there, but anyway, our last episode would be the gym leader. And this episode, we're going to progress on with the game. Uh, hey Sharon, what's up? You gotta stop. I got the bolt badge. Oh, it was the bolt badge. Wait, isn't that what I called it before? I can't remember what I called it. Thunder badge? Something I don't know. But anyways, before I eat Sharon, why am I talking about badges? I was talking about Sharon. I don't know. Challenge by Sharon Sharon. Star after. Okay, and I started with Birdo. Now, this Star Raptor is pretty beast. Because it has, like, everything for its type of. I don't know if it's now or later, but it, it does have, like. Oh, sweet. I, I used Dragon Breath for that reason. Uh, for Power Axe. Uh, okay, let's try Bubble Beam. Bell? Oh, nice. A crit. Good, bur good work, Birdo. Gigalith. Um, I would stay in, but the thing is, though, like, Birdo got really tricky. Okay, what's the worst thing a Gigalith can do? To Birdo, at least. Uh, I'm gonna heal Birdo. Alright, Power Gem. Okay, that's a special move, and Gigalith doesn't have that great special attack. Well, it did a decent amount, but it didn't. It's like about a 2 KO, so it's good. Mmm, that rock slide could hurt though. We actually may kill first. Okay. Let's see, do I have a revive? Oh yeah, I have like 34 more. Revive Birdo, just so you can get the experience. Smackdown! You have three rock moves! Man, the creator didn't really think of variety. Just gave him three rock moves. He could have given him, like, magnitude. Or mud bomb. Or something. Embor. Hmm. Embor is by far one of my favorite of the starters. Thing, and I like all the fire starters, despite stats and what people say. Well, I'm not saying Embor has horrible stats, I'm just... People say Embor's a horrible Pokemon. I've used it before, and it's fine. I mean, sure, the concept of fire fighting gets repetitive, but that doesn't mean that Embor is horrible in any way. Sucker Punch. Really? Birdo died again. Uh... Thing, Chris Beecher. Uh, let's revive. Uh, no, I didn't mean to the flap. Uh, let's revive Birdo again, just so again he gets the experience. He crash and do anything. Jeez! You see what I mean? Empor is a beast. Look how much he crash did. It almost killed me. If this is on almost. Now something you should know about Embor is that it is a fire of ground type in this game. I don't know if I said that already, but actually I think I did at the beginning of the game. Uh semi say just the grass won't be. Uh shit, I don't know really anything for that. Um River doesn't have ice beam and blue's not flying yet. Um I don't have, like, flying moves. Berta has hidden power, but... I don't think it's a... You know, I'll send it in Gojira, because I can. Because seriously, what's the worst thing a semi Sage can do to a uh, Fracture? Uh... Dragon Claw. Fury Swipe. That shouldn't kill me. Hit five times, but other matter didn't do anything. Dragon Claw. Two it KO, that's nice. Fury Swipe again. 
Uh, I hate moves like this. It takes forever. Why is it he's always hitting five times? Is that all? Oh, no, he still has that. Okay, this Alakazam's kind of weird, because... I remember I fought this thing once before, and, um... The weird thing is, this thing doesn't even have an attacking move. It has Reflect, Slight Screen, Recover, and Gravity. That's its moveset right there. I don't know why the create. Oh, I, okay, maybe it need, needs this. Like, whatever. It's really got altered by gravity. Huh, speed spell. Okay, um, she's go up both beam again. I don't know why the creator did that. He just gave a random Alakazam, like, the, the moves. I don't know why he did that. But then again, he probably won't. Yeah, you see? I don't know why he did that. So, ironically, you could have, like, a level 1 Pokemon with, like, some kind of, like, status-inducing move and some attacking move, and you could just get, like, a bunch of levels, uh, off the Alakazam. Why? Why can't I beat you? Because you suck. That's why. If you're friends, that's nice. Help each other gets better by competing. Let's go! Hey, some guy with red hair. I like that guy. Oh, hey, well, this is Lisa. I still don't know how to pronounce her name. Aren't festivals grand? Life should be enjoyed. Who is this man? This is Alder, the Unova's region champion. The champion? Scooping off in a place like this. I heard that remark. You're quite a judgmental young person. Or not. My name is Older. I'm the Nova Pokemon League champion. Please make your friends. For information, nation, inf information, I am not goofing off. I am on a voyage. I know every corner of Unova. Um, I'm Sharon from November Town. My goal is to become the champion. Kind of didn't get that goal in Black and White too, but uh, um, okay. I'm not spoiling on the game. I didn't even play it myself. What else is there other than striving to become stronger? Strongest trainer? Ch that's the champion. So I'm strong? You become stronger, become stronger, you say. Uh, in travels, I've helped many people learn to love Pokemon. I think that's important too. Play with those children, you might gain more of an understanding. We we'll do have to battle these two. Hey, you two, come here for a moment. Before that, oh, thanks, Sharon. And we're fighting two random twins, the Sharon on our side. Sarah and Billy. Nobody don't know I think her name is Mandy. <laughs> uh, I didn't watch that show much as a kid. Well, I did, but like. I didn't really enjoy it as much. Um, let's see. Let's use Bubble Beam on Solrock. Close combat. I almost killed it. I'm impressed. Ah, uh, just as a fairy. Let's see what I kill? Yes. I like Solrock better than Lunatone. Embargo. Wait, what? I could have sworn that these kids had like, like, um, whole beaten Eloise for some reason. Battle, you look like they're uh, fun. Strength. People who are happy to just being a Pokemon. There are many different people and many different answers. Comes to 
what a champion should be. You should, you and I may hold the fire and view different views, but but so be it. Give it some thought. Let's roll. Driftville bridge. Driftville city's bridges up ahead. Every man is the strongest. Yeah, blah blah blah. No, I'm gonna go heal, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, scratch that. I I was already healed. I guess I got healed after the battle. Anyways, uh, where are the repels? There they are. Are they down here? Anyways, I'm gonna go. Oh, whoop whoop! I almost took that item. A black glasses. I don't have a dark type. Actually, you know what I could do? But here's not really good. I'm just gonna give him the black glasses boost assurance power. Wait, what does it do? Boost dark type moves. Doesn't just boost the power of a dark type's move set, it just boosts dark type moves that the Pokemon has. Alright. I was kind of wondering there. Anyway, there's actually a Pokemon in the double grass I was originally going to use instead of Dragonair. And I may catch it, actually. Problem is, though, my repel is still up. So, I'm going to cut, and I'm going to let you know when I find it. So, be right... Oh, something I forgot. Upgrade! You can use that to evolve Porygon 2 or, or 1. I don't know. I always got confused. Anyway, back to finding the Pokemon. Okay, I found it. Now, um, it took me a little while to find this thing, but uh, I finally found it. I'm gonna use bubble beam strength. Rufflet. Rufflet's so cool, I like Rufflet. Oh my god, I almost killed it. Now, I'm gonna let you guys decide. Should I use Bagon instead of Dragonair? Because um, I was originally going to use Bagon instead of Dragonair because, well, um, well, I was originally going to use uh, Bagon instead of. No, I said already. Why am I saying it again? Well, um, I was. But I'm like confused now because like. Because, like, Dragonair doesn't look like it's going to get any good moves anytime soon. And especially since it has Dragon Tail, it just makes it, like, a little bit bad. Uh, do I have a status in the same move? Oh, yeah, Dragonair has Thunder Wave. Uh, you, um, you can, I suppose, switch into Earth Pain since... Yeah, you can find that uh, Bagon in the double grass, and I don't know. I don't know. Should I use a uh, drag? Should I use a uh, this thing, or should I use Dragonair? Because Dragonair, look at its move set. Not the best move set in the world. Uh, I'm gonna switch. It's an old tactical strategy for first Pokemon, right? Switch, switch there, switch there, switch anywhere. Like, and no, I uh, know, and, and don't, and like, if you guys are saying, like, use Dragonair, don't put, like, a stupid excuse, like, use Dragonair, because it's Mother F and, because it evolves from Mother F and Dragonair. No, I don't want to hear any of that cool crap. Give an actual reason. In fact, actually, if you even put, put that in the comments, then I'm not using that thing. Depends if I even catch this bait on. I have like tons of Pokeballs, so it should. Oh, come on now. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna cut until I get it. Okay, something that happens before I, was, I accidentally fought, got a fight into a trainer, and Blue's trying to learn Aqua Tail. I'm gonna get rid of Slam for that. I accidentally ran away from the Bagon. That's why I accidentally fought the trainer. I was trying to go back and I, I decided like I accidentally ran from Bagon and I might as well go get some Pokeballs. 
But seriously, guys, put in the comments below. Should I use Vagon or Dragonair? Because I could train Vagon. And honestly, I think Vagon's better than Dragonair. Well, at least it's evolution. Hmm. Oh, I forgot I was recording. <laughs> uh, oh. Here. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna decide to catch Bagon at a later date. Um, because it's just not appearing. And if you guys want me to use Bagon instead of Dragonair, I'll just catch it off screen. This is so cool. Not a lot of interesting commentary in this one episode. I didn't realize how cool the bridge looked when it was nighttime. Yeah, forgive me if I'm like constantly not talking. It's just like I have my TV turned on and like I'm watching like a, a movie in my room. And I love this movie. It's like, it's, uh, No Me on and Julia. I, I love this movie. I just, like, keep watching it. Anyways, I don't know why I'm not. I have my bike equipped. Anyway, uh, I just ride on the bike. So cool. And this is, like, probably, probably the easiest place to, like, get, like, things. I'm not sure if one appeared yet. Oh. There's one. Yeah, health wing, and I think these actually work. Okay, let's see, what, what do they do exactly? Okay, first, since I'm, since I'm down to the repulse of mines, I'll do this. Oh, they're not here? They're in medicine? Oh, they are, okay. And I am to use for a po use on a Pokemon. It slightly increases the base HP of a single Pokemon. You can, you can get these for free. So, I'm going to increase... Birdos. I think it works on flying types or something? I don't know. Oh. And best music in the game. I'm Clay, I'm the gym leader around these parts. Oh wait. <clears throat> Don't be expecting no welcome now, cause we lowered that bridge. The Team Plasma guys wouldn't caught, done, ex escaped, and in all the ruckus. What a bother. We're grateful that you lowered the bridge, but now it is our fault that they escaped. You yeah, can say whatever you want, but what's important is you showed up and then Team Plasma escaped. Maybe it's a little heavy handed, but I sound like a little bit of John uh, Wayne there. <laughs> Maybe it's a little heavy handed, but you ought to start looking for Team Plasma too. You're both talented trainers, aren't you? Tell you what, if you find Team Plasma, I'll let you challenge my gym. Life's all about give or take. That was like the worst accent I ever given him. <laughs> Anyways, I love the music in this area. Forgive me if I'm not talking at the time, I'm just like listening to music because I love the song so much. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait a minute, I forgot something. Uh, go inside this house. Talk to this lady. I'm a... I am grateful that you came all this way. Are you a trainer? Oh, yeah, Pogba, it's so marvelous. I wonder, if you please do me a favor? I would like to see a Pokemon that has learned the move called Struggle Bug. Uh, do I have one that knows Struggle Bug? 
I don't think so. I highly doubt it. I'll laugh if I do. No, I don't. Uh, well, basically, if you give her a Pokemon with the move that she wants, she'll give you a hard scale in exchange. And hard scales have a use later. I think I'm gonna slow down there. Uh, what to do? What to do? What to do? Um, hmm. I just generally go down. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Go down here. Talk to this guy. A helmet is an important tool for stock shock protection. And he gives you a Rocky helmet, which is like a really good item. Uh, Pokemon that hit Pokemon while wearing a Rocky helmet with a physical move will take damage. Kind of like um, rough skin. Uh, everyone's holding an item. What are they holding? You're holding a scope lens. You're holding an experience share. You're holding black glasses. You're holding a page rock, and you're holding soft sand. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'll give it to someone later. Meantime. Uh, let's see. What can I do? Hmm. Actually, I think there's a po guy that trades Pokemon or something around here. I think it's like in this house. Hey, uh, the professor gave you a Pokemon too. Start your journey, right? Yeah. A combo. Oh, this guy. It's this guy. Oh, yeah. He teaches, uh, like, your starters, like, grasp the plunge moves. Or paint trying to learn glass plunge. How much power does it have? 100 and... And it's a special move. But I... I well, then again, I have a physical move already. And I need... And I want Urpain to be a special attack as opposed to physical. So, yeah, get rid of Leaf Blade. Urpain forgot Leaf Blade and learned Grass Plunge. Awesome. Also, in this game... The elemental monkeys, I always call them that. The elemental monkeys get uh, it too. Cold, something about the cold storage. Okay. Something I noticed, I only have like one Pokemon that doesn't, isn't weak to ice. What do you say? Their Pokemon evolve when they're traded. Awesome, but why do they evolve? I don't know. Hey. There's a train around here where it gives you, like, trades you a Pokemon. Is it this guy? Oh, will you trade my Snover with your Whalmer? Uh, Snover. Huh, well. There's something. Get a shell pal. Okay. So a little bit of HP does damage. No, I'm not gonna give that to Urpain, because he's not gonna be flinching as much. Uh, shell bell. Alright. How is Urpain's special attack anyway? Oh, it's like higher than its physical attack, but just like by one stage. Wow. Yeah, see, Dragonair has, like, the lowest stats of everybody. Oh, this, oh. Okay, except for maybe Gabite. So, um, I think I'm gonna end off the episode here. So, we did quite a bit in this episode. We fought our rival, Sharon. We, uh, met the champion, Alder. We, uh, taught... Urpain Grass Plunge, and we found a new Dragon-type Pokemon, but I'm gonna let you guys put in the comments below. Should I use Bagon instead of Dragonair? Because, like, as you recall when I was uploading some Link to the Past episodes and not so much as they, the Blaze Black episodes, is because I was actually deciding. So I'm gonna let you guys decide in the comments. And I'm not going to upload an episode until there are, like, six comments of some sort. About the, about, uh, what should I use, Bagon and Dragonair. Um, because I really want to, because I do want to use Bagon, but it's like, I don't know. So, yeah, you guys put in the comments below what story, uh, what starter, what dragon type you guys want me to use, right? 
see you guys in the next episode.